Hey everyone, I had to get on camera for this because this is a massive deal. This is a huge shakeup in the entire tech industry and it could actually directly affect the Nintendo Switch or at least future Switch products, future uh, anything coming from NVIDIA and Nintendo's partnership. Because remember, Nintendo left AMD this generation. They have been with AMD pretty much throughout the entire history of the company, just like uh, you know, what we're seeing PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X actually see a benefit of sticking with AMD and getting, you know, the new big Navi uh, architecture for their GPUs in their system, obviously getting to use the Ryzen stuff in their systems as well. So obviously there's been a big benefit to PlayStation and, you know, you know, basically the PlayStation Xbox brand to stick with AMD. But Nintendo might now start seeing a massive, oh man, a massive jolt because of a purchase that is about to go down from NVIDIA. Before we get into that, I need to remind you of our giveaways. We have two massive giveaways going on right now. One is for three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. There's a Gleam.io link down in the description to enter for that. Uh, also, we have a second giveaway for a Switch Lite. That's right, an actual console, the mini version of this bad boy. A Switch Lite, and then two second place winners will win a Switch game of choice. To enter that, go down in the description. There's a laundry list of things to do. Off the top of my head, it's subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon, comment on the video, like the video. You can comment and like on every video that gets you additional entries as well. Follow on Twitter, uh, all that stuff. There, there, there's a Discord thing to, to, to uh, enter as well. So, yeah, like we're giving away like $500 worth of stuff this month. Oh, and by the way, uh, can we get this video to like 500 likes? That's just, I, I want to see if we can do it. We've had a couple videos at 500 likes the last uh, week or so. I want to see if we can get a third video to do it. And on top of that, if we hit 500 likes, I'll give away a copy of Pikmin 3 Deluxe next month. Why not? Why not? Why not just get the hype started for a new giveaway for next month? So, uh, yeah, <laughs> if you are interested in Pikmin 3 Deluxe, might as well hit the like on the video. All right, let's get into the video here. Um, this is, the, this comes from tomshardware.com. I don't know if you guys follow the tech space. I'm not sure uh, what what you actually uh, pay attention to uh, when it comes to your, your tech news. Maybe you just follow YouTubers. Uh, we don't talk about a ton of tech stuff all the time, uh, but I'm, I'm a kind of a tech head, right? I like the latest tech. I, I love the, you know, all the news coming out about the 3000 series GPUs, you know, the 3070, the 3080. The 3090, which is what I would love as a content creator. I love the 3090. Um, you know, we're hearing about, uh, you know, brand new, um, <laughs> you know, 4000 series, a.k.a. Ryzen Gen 3 or whatever it is. Uh, CPUs, we're hearing about that next month. And also the big Navi reveal finally is going to happen. Uh, and those products should be out before the end of the year, if not early spring. Uh, so I love tech. I'm a huge tech guy. I actually one day want to start up a tech channel where I get to talk about more than just video games uh, in terms of Nintendo. I'd actually would love to talk about all of tech, including PC stuff. But that's for another day. Today, NVIDIA is making a purchase, a purchase that is going to blow your mind. They are considering purchasing ARM. All right. So in a deal that would undoubtedly change the semiconductor industry for years to come, according to the Wall Street Journal, NVIDIA is close to finalizing a deal with SoftBank to purchase ARM holdings for more than 40 billion USD dollars in stock and cash. The deal is expected to be officially announced early next week. While the exact terms and final sale price of the deal are unknown, the $40 billion offer would represent a tidy profit for SoftBank, who originally purchased ARM for $32 billion four years ago. As part of the deal, NVIDIA would likely be subject to regulatory approvals that would compel the company to continue to license the ARM architecture to existing customers, but it would still gain access to a treasure trove of IP and engineering talent that could enable the company to quickly develop custom CPU architectures for its own use, which would then further the company's broadening push into the profit-rich data center market. NVIDIA has long held the position in AI compute in the data center, particularly in the leading supercomputers. However, AMD and Intel, by virtue of having both CPU and GPU production in-house, can tie the CPU and GPU together in a much more sophisticated way than NVIDIA could due to their purpose-built designs. As a result, the most important supercomputer contracts from the Department of Energy have recently gone to Intel and AMD, both of which have the advantage of tightly coupled GPU and CPU architectures that will empower the world's first exascale class supercomputers. Derivatives of those same designs will eventually filter into the broader market. In comparison, NVIDIA's singular focus on GPU contracts compute limits its ability to compete with complex designs that fully leverage the advantage of memory coherency between the accelerators. Now we're getting into a bunch of technical stuff. Um, what, what, what basically this enables them to do is it enables them 
to basically um, make CPUs, uh, make their own CPUs. Uh, ARM is very popular. It's in a lot of phones, right? Uh, that's what most of us know ARM processing is for. It's in a lot of phones. Um, you know, I've got, I, I, it's in the Nintendo Switch. Okay, the Tegra X1 chip in here uses ARM processors, but it's in partnership with ARM. It's not in-house. It's not wholly owned by NVIDIA. But with this purchase, um, not only could it, not only should Intel uh, and AMD be shaking in their boots, uh, maybe Intel more than anything, because Intel's lost a lot of ground to AMD. Uh, and we'll see what happens uh, if, if they can get the ARM supercomputer stuff uh, back on track, because there are ARM stuff in some supercomputers, uh, but obviously they haven't got the recent contracts. This it means a huge deal in, in the multi-billion dollar, trillion dollar business world for supercomputers. But it also is a big deal for mobile. See, right now, the Tegra chip uses, in the Switch anyways, uses a 4X ARM Cortex-A57 um, chip. And uh, there's actually another uh, ch uh, chip in there as well, another ARM chip, but I think the cores are inactive or whatever because it's just part of, the, part of the original chip design, but it's not being used in Switch. The thing is, there's much better mobile ARM processors, much, much better than the ARM Cortex-A57, like much better. But we haven't really seen them appear in an NVIDIA mobile APU, which is a GPU-CPU combo. In addition, they don't always necessarily work, you know, in tandem as well as they could because NVIDIA doesn't own ARM. So they have to build, you know, these kind of workarounds to make ARM and NVIDIA GPUs work together. Whereas AMD and Intel, which makes their own graphics and stuff, can more closely connect the, the, the designs together as they're being made. So what's interesting here is that this could be a massive deal for Nintendo Switch because Nintendo got in bed with, with NVIDIA. They got in bed maybe not even knowing that they were going to purchase ARM. Nintendo got in bed with a company that has the most powerful GPUs in the world, but they don't have anything to offer CPU-wise. With the ARM partnership, not only could this potentially make ARM CPUs cheaper for Nintendo because now they're all under one umbrella. They're not sublet from a different company. It could also make the architecture much more fluid going forward. Now, this isn't going to be something that's going to affect any like soon to be released hardware. You know, we know all about the rumors. We know about potential Switch Pro, next gen Switch, probably more like a Switch Pro coming out next year, right? We we've all heard about that. This contract wouldn't have anything to do with that. It would be with existing technologies an upgraded, you know, current Tegra or, or slightly improved, you know, new gen Maxwell Tegra or something. Uh, there's obviously potential. We've heard about the 4K potential. It's going to be built on Volta. Um, backwards compatibility is going to be a bit of an issue there, but that's not our problem to worry about. That's on Nintendo and NVIDIA to figure out backwards compatibility issues and making sure all games run on it day one that are currently on Switch. Again, that's not our problem. As consumers, not our problem. Nintendo would have to figure that out. NVIDIA would have to figure that out. But for a next-gen Switch, for a 2022, 2023, 2024 product, assuming that Nintendo and NVIDIA are still partners, holy crap. ARM processors are some of the best mobile processors and supercomputer processors in the world. Now, they're not consumer-end processors, typically. These aren't the kind of processors you're going to buy for your desktop PCs. That might change. With NVIDIA purchasing it, they might take make desktop-level ARM processors. But for now, they're mobile and supercomputer. That's what they specialize in. And for Switch owners, that's massive. This is going to bring the cost of chips down for Nintendo. And we're going to bring the cost of chips down for NVIDIA. They don't have to license it. They wholly own it. Uh, and this is going to make potentially cheaper Tegra chips in the future for Nintendo that are next-gen quality we're talking 3000 series and better potentially architecture in a mobile gpu that has the latest and greatest arm mobile technology combined into it for a price for a price that nintendo might have been paying already for the tegra x1s back in 2015 2016 2017 when they were manufacturing and coming up with the idea for switch in the first place that's huge that is huge now Obviously, we've heard rumors in the past that the Nintendo got a really, really good deal on the Tegra X1 chips because uh, NVIDIA's products for it basically flopped everywhere but China. So, like, NVIDIA Shield TV uh, sells well in China, but it doesn't really sell well anywhere else. So, we heard that, uh, you know, maybe they got a really good deal on that. But they looked at Nintendo 
as the possibility to uh, get their GPU architecture into a, a standard video game system because it was very, very strange that the number one highest end GPU manufacturer in the entire world was not present in any home console. PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, PlayStation, you know, 3, 2, everything's been AMD. AMD has just dominated in the home console space forever. And NVIDIA had nothing going on. They had basically gaming PC GPUs and supercomputer GPUs. And they didn't really have anything in between. Workstation GPUs. They didn't have anything really going on outside of the PC space until Switch came along. I mean, they tried with the NVIDIA Shield TV, but the Switch is a much bigger success. So I don't think that Nintendo's suddenly going to get a worse deal on next-gen chips. I think Nintendo might wait. You know, the chips might be 2021, 2022 chips. Nintendo waits till 2023, 2024 to release a system. But when it comes, I mean, you're starting to think that uh, a 4K capable Switch with with eight core, 16, you know, eight core, 16 thread um, ARM CPUs in it, uh, based on Volta or better technology, is completely possible, and possible at a price that becomes affordable to consumers. That's huge. Now, for NVIDIA, this ARM purchase is way, w about way more than, than Switch, way more than their partnership with Nintendo. It's about the supercomputer space. It's about them being uh, the, the next GPU manufacturer to actually make their own processors in-house. Uh, so there's a whole lot to consider uh, for, for NVIDIA to spend $40 billion, yes, with a B, dollars. And it also kind of puts in perspective how small Nintendo is in comparison. Like Nintendo's got, you know, is the most is the richest company in all of Japan. They ain't got forty billion to be buying any any ARM company. Let me tell you. Um, but this is really good news. As Nintendo owners, we should be excited. As Nintendo fans, we should be excited about Nintendo's future partnership with Nvidia because Nvidia just basically made a purchase that is going to lead to better Switch products down the road as long as Nintendo keeps the partnership intact. And again, we've heard it was a decade-long partnership. We can't be more than three, four, five years into that partnership. So yeah, I would assume next-gen Switch is going to be in the same technology. And I would assume that contract might have already been renewed at this point. And NVIDIA locking down ARM is just going to make Nintendo want to renew even more because they're now they're building, you know, they're, they're off that power PC, they're off the AMD stuff, they're into this this ARM NVIDIA stuff. They're going to keep, going to keep closely tying that APU architecture together. Nintendo's going to want to tag along for the ride. This is nothing but great news for Nintendo and gamers. Don't get me wrong. What AMD is doing great. I, I literally use a Ryzen 2700X in my computer now, and I'm potentially waiting to buy the next the, the next RDNA 2 big navy GPUs uh, over the 3000 series because they might be more budget friendly. I'm actually looking into having an almost all AMD system, to be completely honest, for my desktop. I love AMD. They are one of my favorite companies in, in the tech space. But man, for Switch, AMD ain't got nothing for Switch. That architecture, all the stuff they got, it, it it doesn't work in such a tiny little dinky package. But NVIDIA's got the GPU power, and now they're going to have the CPU power. Some of the best mobile CPU power in-house. Exciting times are ahead for not only NVIDIA, but for Nintendo fans. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know what you think about this news down in the comments below. Uh, be sure to enter all those giveaways, and I'll catch you in the next video.